a mic and a blood-stained hatchet. He's on my rhyme, they're full of depravity, drowning your ass like two scoops of gravity. So much despair, trauma and sadness, staring you down face first in a madness. All my life was anger and pain, it emptied my brain, barely let me have shame. They said what a waste, they said what a shame, so it's time. Good day and welcome to the blog. Today's July 8th. July 8th. That would be four days after the 4th. Uh, so the explosion should be over, and uh, that means no more burritos or Mexican food for a while. Wah, wah. The, um, I wanted to get in a race with the Michelin man, but he was too tired. <laughs> I just made that up. That's pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> what do I have? I have notes today. I have notes notes let's see i got a letter here uh it's actually not a letter it's uh this this um this fabulous fan of mine she purchased some ring worn stuff and uh so she had a question here let's say is it a uh will you do any more of, uh, video logs on fan art and gifts it's always interesting to see especially since you post about liking gifts but hardly give any clues of what to send um i like gifts gifts are cool i like when people make me original Ravenee stuff like um uh, I just got two cool things up there. I don't know if you can see them. See, uh, some guy made me that. Uh, why am I pointing with my finger? You can't, uh, let's see, why can't you see my finger? I was thinking, well, you can't see my finger, but apparently you can't. See, well, somebody made me that. That was really cool. And then I got that just recently. Um, an artist made that for me at a Comic-Con. And right above it, an artist made me that as well at a Comic-Con. And that was really cool. And, uh, you know, of course, then this is the... Uh, the action figure that somebody made out of clay and in a giant box and made a giant action figure. It's pretty cool. And then that, you know, and all the other stuff I've shown you over the years. Um, but I love crap like that. And I, when I say crap, I mean really cool stuff. Oh, and look, there's Jessica Rabbit. There's my Jessica Rabbit statue. That's pretty cool. Uh, there it is. And there's Muttley. Hold on. Uh, there he is. There's Muttley. Um, and uh, other stuff. The... Um, but yeah, what do I like? I like that's that's the kind of stuff I like. Uh, I also like uh, scratch offs, which I've been getting lately, and that's my pension plan. But that's okay. I like um, I like shirts. I like really cool shirts, trendy shirts. Uh, remember, there's not a lot of shopping days left till my birthday in September eighth. Uh, there's only like what a couple months. So actually, you know what? I think today was uh, my dad's birthday, or yesterday it was actually. Huh. Um, I didn't get him anything. Of course, he's dead. So that probably be a good reason why I didn't. Um, it was a good jolly feller. Um, so anyway, um, and um, yeah, I don't know what I, you know, it's like, I don't know. You know, I always like to say I like gifts and people should buy me shit, but then I have no idea what I want anyway, because I got everything I want pretty much. So um, it's rather a toss up. But uh, I, I just like the appreciation. Um, the, uh, anything interesting, cool cards, um, whatever, I don't care. Um, and the uh, the address to send anything you want to send me is uh, no anthrax though, uh, not even if it's uh, they're a CD um, because I'm not really a big fan of anthrax, and especially not the poison. Um, the door it's the address is 4355J Cobb Parkway, door 513. See, I have a whole door for my stuff. Atlanta, Georgia 30339. Um, and if you're not following me on Twitter, you should follow me on Twitter. Uh, and that's my, what's my Twitter address? I don't know. It's uh, TwitterTheRavenEffect.com or what, I don't even know how you make a Twitter address. But anyway, <clears throat> what I've done with my Twitter is I've made it into a Bendis-like uh, uh, letters column. And if you know who Bendis, you know, now it's like who's Bendis and what's letters column. Um Bendis, Brian Bendis, is a writer, a comic book author, who is a, who is a great writer. And he has this one, um, pri this one uh, not privately, um, one um, self-published comic, but not self-published. It's, uh, it's, it's, own, it's uh, personally owned as opposed to uh, owned by DC or Marvel, and I can't think of a stupid term for it. But anyway, he has this book called Powers, which is coming out with a TV show soon, which is going to be awesome. Anyway, and in this book, along with also, also a friend of mine, Michael Avon Oming, who is the artist who's amazing. Um, but anyway, the um, that was my phone going off in the corner. Um, anyway, so uh, Bendis has a letters column, and when people, uh, you know, at the back of the comic book, and people write him letters, 
and he uh, basically just brutalizes them. You know, whenever somebody asks a stupid question, he just hammers them for it, and it's awesome. It's so funny and snarky and awesome that I've decided to, that's what I've been doing with my Twitter lately, and uh, I've been uh, throwing the snark down. So, and then I'm, I'm trying to bend it like Bendis. Yes, bend it like Bendis. Um, hmm. Anyway, I actually have something I wanted to talk about today. <clears throat> Um, oh, hold on, let me see, I got a couple things here. La, 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 la. Oh, uh, here we go. This is a huge pet peeve of mine. And this has nothing to do with wrestling, really. Oh, kind of, maybe in an, in an ancillary fashion. Uh, that's a good word, ancillary. I'm actually a member of the Dictionary of the Day membership club now. Um, I forget who had it. Oh, Leva, Leva. Leva, I forget how she pronounces it. Um, she's an indie worker who dresses up like superheroes, and uh, and her uh, her phone was sitting on the table because she was at the same table as me at the comic convention, and it went off, and I happened to glance over like at because it was like a text what it was, and it was like a dictionary and a word, and uh, so she has like the dictionary word of the day. I'm like that's pretty cool. So because I would never read a calendar with a word of the day because I, I always forget to even check off the calendar. It's like next thing you know, it's like two weeks later. And I'm like, oh, really? It's July 8th. Uh, my calendar says June uh, 15th. So um, that would never work. But when it calls me on the phone and it says, hello, it goes ding. And it's, I pick up the beeper and uh, I pick up the phone and it says, uh, this is the dictionary word of the day. But <clears throat> I have a really strong vocabulary. So, uh, so far, I've known every word they've given me. So I'm not really that impressed with it. In fact, I'll tell you a little side story before I get to my uh, my real story, my real uh, pet peeve, is uh, me and Austin and Pillman used to ride around together. Yes, it was the uh, triumvirate, what were we? Oh, the triumvirate of comedy, or wait, no, what were we called? Um, the, uh, I don't know, I forget what it was. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's uh, it was me, Austin, and Pillman used to always ride together. And uh, what we had hoped for was that me and Pillman would be the tag team and Austin would get a big singles push, and instead they gave Austin and Pillman a tag team deal, and I got left in the wind, in, in the wind, in the wind. I should have been in Chicago, in the Windy City. Um, but nonetheless, nonetheless, um, we were uh, the comedy, oh, that's right, we were the comedy trio, that's what it was. The useless, the triumvirate of useless information was me, Jericho, and, and Conan. And uh, we had discussed trivia of all uselessness, because we were all masters of useless trivia information, Whereas me and Pillman and Austin were the comedy trio, and um, the uh, and so Pillman, Pillman's an interesting feller. He used to uh, <clears throat> he used to study power vocabulary books, and so he, like Austin would always drive. I'd be in the passenger seat, and then uh, Pillman would be in the back seat, laying down and uh, either sleeping or reading. I guess he wouldn't sleep, but he'd be reading his power vocabulary books, and uh, and I was always proud of myself because pretty much seventy five percent of the words in the book I knew. Like some of them, I couldn't always say the it's verbalize the definition, but if uh, if he gave me a multiple choice, I always nailed it. Um, and most of the time, I could verbalize it. Um, unfortunately, my working vocabulary was never nearly as good as my actual vocabulary because, unfortunately, and this sucks, is when you grow up, uh, intelligence is frowned upon, stupidly. Um, it's ironic, but uh, the stupid people win that way. And so, you know, a high vocabulary, people scoff at you and they look down on you because they, they can't understand you and it offends people and they get mad. And I got tired of not being understood, so I dumbed myself down for the, uh, for the cognoscenti. That's, it is a big word there. You have to look that up. Um, for the populace. And uh, I'd have to dumb myself down so my working vocabulary became pretty crap. Because uh, the working vocabulary is what you use. Your actual, voca your actual vocabulary is what you have in the bank, in the uh, vocabulary bank, the bank of vocabulary, the first national bank of vocabularies. So um, <clears throat> uh, that was that. So anyway, so, so far I've known all the words in my dictionary words of the day. So I'm hoping that they, uh, that they, uh, they up the quotient. Like so far they've had words like stonewall. Who doesn't know what stonewall means? <clears throat> it's a stonewall. There's Gaby, my doggie. He just walked into the room. Gabriel, come here, boy. Ah, here he comes. Come here, boy. Want to be on my video blog? Come here. Look, there's Gabriel. There he is. Yeah. 
Look at him. Oh, I love him so much. All right. Anyway, back to my video blog. The um here under the desk. The um so here's my pet peeve. This is what really fucking irritates me. Is people that go to the gym and they go, or people that talk about working out, they go, well, I don't want to get too big. What? Oh my god. Think about that. I don't want to get too big. And I'm just like, you have no chance of getting big. People don't just get big. That's ridiculous. Like People would give their left nut to get big. So, you know, I've never, ever seen anyone go to the gym and get too big. Like, uh, it's just, it's so preposterous on so many. Somehow we got cut off. I was cut off by the ghost in the machine. The machine ghost. He cut me off. Uh, that was very unfair of him. Uh, apparently my, my computer went into sleepy mode because it was tired. And it took a nap. Probably was hanging out with the Michelin man. That's why I was tired. So this is part du, D E U X du. And I want to point out earlier, the comedy trio should not be confused with the Kingston trio, uh, who are actually nothing like the comedy trio, but that's important. Um, anyway, my pet peeve, the uh, the people, man, look at my gig marks. Nice wrinkly forehead, huh? The um, there's a couple of good gaff marks in there. The, uh, usually it doesn't look that bad. I guess it's just the weird lighting here. Um, let's see if I turn a light on. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, now you can't even see them. Turn some lights on. Um, that's weird light. Yeah, it's making me look pink again. I'm going to have to get some lighting set up here. Anyway, I, I just, I don't even get it why people think, oh, I don't want to get too big. You're not going to get big. People can't get big. People give their left nut to get big. People want, well, that'd be stupid because then you wouldn't produce any test. If you gave your left nut, you wouldn't produce any testosterone. And you certainly wouldn't get big. So that'd actually be a, be uh, stupid. That would be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It would be uh, when it's something is uh, counter, oh, it'd be counterproductive. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, earlier I couldn't think of the word. It's creator-owned. That's what Bendis' comic is. It's creator-owned. Um, so there. Anyway, yeah, that really drives me nuts, though, when people think that, um, that they're going to get too big or there's a possibility or an outside chance. You know, because it's just so hard to get big. Man, I trained forever, and it took me forever to get relatively good size. You know what I mean? And to this day, I would still love to be big, big. You know what I mean? And that big, uh, giant uh, cannon arms. But, uh, you know, I, I'm going to settle for a giant waist. How about that? Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think we're done because I've had enough of you people. And uh, if I don't see you around here, I'll see you around here. That's a redneck joke. Wasn't funny when the rednecks told it either. The, uh, yeah, it's the rednecks. They were a tribe. The rednecks. I don't know what that means. All right, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Um, ooh, excuse me. I guess it's time to look for the off button, which now I know exactly where it is. So the off button is right below the little, uh, the little mouse finger. So you know what sucks? I'm, I, I, before I say goodbye, I'm playing with the mouse, uh, the mouse thingy. And you can see, and I can see the uh, the cursor on. The, I guess that's what it's called on the screen. And I wish I could. I wish you could see the cursor because I make funny faces. I like I poke myself in the eye with it. I point out stuff in the background, and then it's like, but it doesn't show up. So that kind of sucks. I need a, a telestrator. Yeah, I think they sell those cheap for Mac uh, computers. So that would be perfect. All right. Thank you and good night.